hey guys welcome back to my channel success engineering official so in my previous tutorials you have seen the lot of videos related to this app software so in this tutorials uh, we guys uh, we have to create the system so as I told you so I think you have to go to this system so before I start this video I would like to request you guys please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon as well so that you can get the notification of my upcoming videos so in this system we have to create part by part because this is a little bit lengthy uh, same as per this space in our last tutorials we have created one space here bedroom one so in the system you have to double click here new default system okay so new default system you are getting here this dialog box air system properties okay so here you are getting here different different types of tabs so first of all uh, we are getting here general tabs then system component then zone component then next is sizing data and then equipment so first of all i am going to enter here general tab details okay in this general tab i am going to select here air system name so air system name is a split unit for one space i am first of all you have to decide what type of ac you are going to use in that space in your space so there is only one space so I am going to select the split unit so SPU split unit or types also you have to write wall mounted split unit I am going to use wall mounted split okay here system name 001 wall mounted split 001 then equipment type is here you have to select for the split unit there are different types of equipment here package rooftop package vertical then a split air handling unit then chill water air handling unit and the last one is terminal unit so for the split system we are selecting the terminal unit okay so terminal unit and air system type so air system type you have to select from here a split dx fan coil this is a split dx fan coil and there are different system here so air system type is given first of all uh, package dx fan coil then a split dx fan coil then variable refrigerant flow vrf then heat pump water source heat pump then ground water source heat pump then ground source heat pump then two pipe fan coil three four pipe fan coil then induction beam active chill beam so there are so many air system type is given here so in our case uh, we are selecting this split tx fan coil number of zone is only one one space one zone and the ventilation is direct ventilation there are no common ventilation system so direct ventilation okay if there is a, we are using fresh air FAHU then common ventilation system will be applicable so here is direct ventilation that means we are not using any ventilation system so once you selecting this terminal unit this ventilation system component will be disabled will not applicable for this type of system okay so it will be disabled this will be active only for the other type except uh, terminal unit okay so go to this zone component and then you have to select here a space so in this a space simply check this i am going to check this check and check and uh, you can see here this a space assignment to so bedroom one simply add this to the zone this space will be added to the zone and then go to this thermostat so thermostat you have to select here the cooling thermostat set point so set point is 24 degree occupied and unoccupied is 80 degree Fahrenheit and heating similarly you have to select for the heating if required okay 
and then you have to select here uh, create the schedule for the thermostat so I am going to create the schedule so simply here TS is nothing but the thermostat and in this case you have to select the fan thermostat as I told you in my previous tutorials for the creation of thermostat schedule go to this hourly profile then select the profile number one then assign to the all the profile okay click ok then you have to go to this common data in this common data this uh, actually we are getting only we need only cooling so simply check this cooling and uh, design supply temperature is 56 degree Fahrenheit and coil bypass vector we are taking 0.12 and schedule is uh, you have to activate this all you can see this all should be activated January until December okay okay and then simply uncheck this heating coil so because it is not required Heating is not required. Then go to this terminal unit and then terminal unit you can select here 20 CFM per person and uh, static is 0. And then go to this sizing data and in this sizing data you have to select go to select the system sizing then uh, enter here safety factor. So safety factor is 15% cooling sensible and 10% is latent and uh, no need to change remaining things remaining things is computer generated you can see here sizing data is computer generated and equipment edit the equipment data you can uh, terminal cooling unit you can uh, edit the here terminal cooling unit use same settings so all zone outside air temperature and uh, equipment sizing and auto size no need to change here anything simply click ok and then you have to click ok so that means your system is created here for the split unit okay and then if you want to see the report output report simply select this system and this uh, first of all I am going to show you the input report so view input report for the system what we entered here okay so let me save this first system input report system input report save it and then close it okay so you can see here this is system input report it's not uh, generated go to again here uh, save oh, sorry click here input uh, and then print system input input okay this saved already so go to this uh, system input and you will see here this uh, wall mounted system type is a wall mounted split unit input data what we entered general detail ventilation and all ok so next tutorial guys we will show you how to create the output report so thank you for watching my video thank you bye bye